What do Kevin Costner and the average person have in common? Well, they can both go broke after a divorce. Apparently, Kevin is homeless in Aspen after his ex-wife took everything from him in their divorce. You may know Kevin Costner from his movies like The Bodyguard, Dances with Wolves, and Field of Dreams. But guess what? He's not having a good time right now because he's facing a bitter divorce from his wife of 18 years, Christine Baumgartner. And believe it or not, despite his Hollywood royalty status and an estimated worth of $250 million, Kevin is apparently homeless. Yes, you heard that right. In court papers, he suggested he's currently without a place to call home. According to court papers, Kevin, in a bid to get Christine out of their shared California mansion, claims he's found himself homeless yet again. He reminisces, I was married once before, and upon separation, found myself without home base and unable to live in my own home. I never wanted this to happen again. Well, history does have a way of repeating itself, doesn't it, Kevin? Despite having the sprawling 160-acre Dunbar Ranch in Aspen, which is likened to a mini town with 12 bedrooms, 8 bathrooms, and the capacity to sleep 27 people, Kevin feels homeless. Maybe he just misses his $145 million house in Carpinteria, California, where Christine is refusing to move out. Kevin Costner and Christine Baumgartner met in 1998 at a golf course. They dated for four years before breaking up in 2002. Kevin reportedly wanted to focus on his career and didn't want to have more children. He already had four kids from his previous marriage to Cindy Silva, which ended in 1994 with a whopping $80 million settlement. Christine, on the other hand, wanted to start a family with Kevin and was not willing to compromise. However, they rekindled their romance in 2003 and got married in 2004 at his ranch in Aspen, Colorado. They had a lavish ceremony with 500 guests, including celebrities like Oprah Winfrey, Bruce Willis, and Tim Allen. They also had a live performance by John Cougar Mellencamp. The couple seemed happy and in love for many years. They welcomed three children together, Caden in 2007, Hayes in 2009, and Grace in 2010. They also shared a passion for philanthropy and conservation. They founded the Costner Baumgartner Foundation, which supports environmental causes and education programs. But behind the scenes, things were not so rosy. According to sources who spoke to People magazine, Kevin's work schedule was very demanding and put a strain on their marriage. He was also very obsessed with his career and didn't pay enough attention to his family. And speaking of paying attention, let me take a moment here to tell you about something that definitely deserves yours. As summer approaches, we all want to enjoy the great outdoors, the beach, the pool, or any other activities under the sun. But we all know unwanted hair can seriously put a damper on that fun. That's where the You Like Sapphire Air Series IPL Hair Removal Handset comes into the picture. Say goodbye to stubble and hello to smooth skin with this incredible device. It's time to focus on what really matters, having a great summer without any worries. And guess what? We have a special deal for you. By using the promo code AFFULIKE110, you get an amazing $110 off your purchase. Click the link in the description below and use the code to snag this deal today. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to make your summer smooth and effortless. Now back to Kevin Costner's saga. According to insiders, the main problem is that Kevin is a workaholic who doesn't spend enough time with his family. He has three kids with Christine, Caden, Hayes, and Grace, who are 16, 14, and 12 years old. But he's been very busy with his projects, especially his hit show Yellowstone, which has been canceled after five seasons, and his passion project Horizon, a movie that he's been working on for a long time. Apparently, his wife was not happy with him spending so much time away from home and their three kids. Horizon is an epic Western saga that spans at least three movies. Kevin co-wrote it with John Baird, and he's also producing and directing it. He plays the lead role of a man who's lived through the pre- and post-Civil War expansion and settlement of the American West. He also cast his son Hayes as his younger self in the movie. The movie has a huge ensemble cast that includes Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Luke Wilson, Thomas Hayden Church, Michael Rooker, Jenna Malone, Isabel Furman, and many more. Kevin has been obsessed with Horizon for years. He told People Magazine that it's the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's exactly what I want to do. He also said that he's haunted by stories about the Wild West and how people survived in those times. He started filming Horizon last year in Utah, and he's still working on it. 
but his wife Christine was not happy with his dedication to Horizon. She wanted him to spend more time at their Santa Barbara home with her and their kids. She felt neglected and lonely by his absence. She did not want him to throw himself into another project after Yellowstone. She was unhappy with his obsession with Horizon. She didn't want him to take on another project and hoped that he would slow down. But Kevin didn't listen to her and continued to pursue his ambitions. The source said, Christine doesn't want him to throw himself into another project. He's been obsessed with filming Horizon since last year. She wasn't happy about it. Kevin knew that Christine was unhappy, but he didn't expect her to file for divorce. He was caught off guard by her decision and was very sad about it. The source said, Kevin hasn't been home very much for quite some time due to filming, the popularity of Yellowstone, and the time necessary for his other projects. He has been in demand. All of this success and excitement over the new project probably took his attention away from his family more than he realized. Since it didn't look like that would change and likely could get worse, it caused tension at home. Christine filed for divorce on May 8th, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. She also requested joint custody of their three children and spousal support. Kevin responded by also citing irreconcilable differences. He also mentioned a prenup agreement that they signed before getting married. But even with a prenup, there could still be some issues regarding spousal support, legal fees, and custody of their kids. Christine has requested joint custody of their children, who are 16, 14, and 12 years old. Kevin has also asked for joint custody in his legal response. The prenup is very important because Kevin is worth an estimated $250 million. He also had a very expensive divorce with his first wife Cindy Silva back in 1994, which cost him $80 million. He owned several properties around the world, including the 165-acre ranch in Aspen that he bought for $28 million in 2006. The ranch is where he married Christine and where they spent many happy moments together as a family. But now that they're divorcing, Kevin might lose his beloved ranch to Christine. According to Colorado law, marital property is divided equitably between the spouses based on several factors, such as income, contribution, duration of marriage, and future needs. Even though they have a prenup, it might not protect Kevin from losing his ranch. It depends on what the prenup says and how it was drafted. If the prenup is invalid or unfair, the court might disregard it and divide the property according to its own discretion. If that happens, Christine might get a huge chunk of Kevin's fortune, including his ranch in Aspen. She might also get spousal support and child support from him, which could amount to millions of dollars per year. That means Kevin might end up homeless in Aspen, or at least without his ranch. He might have to give it up to Christine as part of the divorce settlement. He might also have to pay her a lot of money every month to maintain her lifestyle and take care of their kids. That would be a huge blow for Kevin, who loves his ranch and considers it his sanctuary. He once said, I don't need to work another day in my life. I could just live here. But now, he might have to say goodbye to his dream home and his wife of 18 years. He might have to start over and rebuild his life without them. What do you think of Kevin Costner's divorce? Do you think he's going to lose his ranch in Aspen? Do you think he deserves it or not? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it for today's video. Stay tuned to our channel for the latest buzz on your favorite celebrities. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out our other videos for more exclusive insights, breaking news, and insider gossip about the celebrity world. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.